Students and teachers continue to adapt to distance learning as the school year comes to a close. The next big hurdle, advanced placement exams. Those are college level tests for high schoolers meant to prepare students for when they leave home to earn their degree. KXAN's education reporter Alex Capriello found out what changes are being made to keep these students on track. Pflugerville High School senior Lillian Barrera has been hitting the books. She has five advanced placement exams scheduled for next week, but preparing from home hasn't been easy. Me and my sister have to learn how to share the computer. The College Board recognized these adjustments and implemented changes, like letting students use computers and notes. In a regular testing situation, my phone wouldn't even be in the room, and I now have to use my phone to take a picture so I can upload the picture of my answers onto the test. So all my Fleurville students today, I am wearing my Pflugerville shirt, so shout out to Pville. Pflugerville AP history teacher Mason Logero is leading thousands of students online. The College Board asked him to help out during the pandemic. Some of his lessons have more than 100,000 views. I had a student from Pennsylvania today email me with an essay and ask me to grade it for her. And I appreciate it, I, I do, but I was like, well, I've got 150 students here at Pflugerville that I gotta take care of. For students taking AP courses, it's not about being book smart. It's also about potentially earning college credit to their dream school. By doing so, they have the opportunity to save money on tuition. It's something a lot of families say they could use right about now. Barrera has already earned six college credits. That'll save her family several thousand dollars of tuition at Arizona State University, where she plans to study marketing. But first, she's got to get through next week. Y'all are doing really well, and like as long as you just keep studying, you're going to be prepared for this test, and so it'll be okay. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. While the exams are considered open books, students are not allowed to communicate with anyone in person or online while they're doing the test. Class notes and previous assignments are allowed, but there are time limits.